friends, it's Emma here, the Bookish Princess. If you've been watching my videos lately, then you'll have noticed I've been in a new space, especially in my reading blogs. I've shared lots of little details of getting things set up, picking out my bookshelves for downstairs, which was obviously a priority, but I've been meaning to do some more thorough room tours. And today I thought I would give you a look in my bedroom. So if we open the door, there it is. It's so colorful and beautiful. So I definitely have a mix of things that you guys will recognize from my old space and new things that I bought um, when I got this place. This room feels more or less finished. I just love these pieces of furniture. All the colors and patterns, my beautiful postcards, I always have to have some kind of postcard wall. And we haven't even really gotten to what is probably my favorite part of this room. So when I first toured this place, I really liked it. You know, it looked really nice. We walked around downstairs and then we came upstairs and we came into this room and then I saw the closet. And I was already liking the place, like feeling like this has a lot of character. It's actually an old farmhouse and it's over a hundred years old. So there's some really cool nooks and crannies. It's been nicely updated, but like the original character hasn't been lost, which is so great. It was when I saw the closet though, that I just felt like, this is my place. Like, I felt like the closet spoke to me. It was like, you're here, finally. I can't wait to have all of your dresses move in. So I couldn't disappoint a closet, you know? <laughs> but we're gonna save the closet for the end. So let's go in order. Actually, first, let's put on our slippers so we're nice and cozy. I got these ages ago at the outlets. There's some cozy Ugg slippers and they just look so pretty in this space with all the blue and pink. This rug I actually bought in... Oh, which arcade was it? An arcade in Dublin. I studied abroad in Dublin and I just never had the heart to get rid of it. It is so lovely. So the bed I found on Wayfair. The hallway and stairs are quite narrow and there was no way a box frame was fitting up here. In fact, this is a queen mattress and even the queen mattress was a little bit, a little bit of a struggle. But this bed frame did not need a box spring and it is perfectly comfortable. It's got exactly the right kind of country farmhouse look that I was hoping for. And I really love the dusty blue color. I'm kind of tempted to paint these panels. I feel like that could be really fun. I can do some beautiful um, sort of floral or farmhouse scenes, but I really like it for now. Yeah, here it does have some slats and that holds it up perfectly well. I do have a little bit of under the bed storage here. It's a very spacious underneath. So at some point I might um, get some more bins um, to use that storage space more. The sheets I found at Macy's. They have these little sheep on them who are so, so cute. Of course, got my cookie and RJ pillows. So this fabric you might recognize is the same fabric as the curtains and I did in fact make the curtains myself and then I had some extra uh, material left. This is Rifle Paper Company fabric. I am so so pleased with the way uh, the curtains and the pillow came out and for fabric it wasn't even really all that expensive. I think it was maybe $12 a yard which isn't cheap but it's also not you know as expensive as fabric could be and curtains made up ready made up curtains are not cheap so I am so pleased uh, with the way my curtains turned out and that there was enough extra for the pillow. The bedspread and uh, pillowed shams are from Anthropology. I ordered them online and I will never place another online order with Anthropology. It was such a headache. It was on back order and then they charged me, but months went by and they didn't ship it. And honestly, I feel like it's kind of a miracle that <laughs> it ever made it to me, but it is beautiful. I love Anthropology stores, but gosh, after that experience, I will only shop in store. So I have a huge postcard collection of cards my friends have sent me, artwork salvaged from calendars, 
postcards that I have bought myself at the places that I've visited because postcards are one of the best souvenirs. You know, it could only be 50 cents or if you're really feeling spendy, you could spend a whole $2 on a, you know, longer card. Maybe I'll have to do a postcard um, collection at some point. It is a massive collection. So whenever I do a new wall, I think about, okay, what colors, what kind of look do I want? And then I just pick out a bunch and, you know, start putting them up with blue tack. That's a cafe in Venice. We've got some ducks at Beatrix Potter's house, Interlochen. The Radcliffe camera at Oxford. A pastry from Angelina in Paris. This is um, in Bath. The assembly rooms at Bath. This I got in Ely. I've been talking about Elizabeth Googe on my channel a lot lately and she lived in Ely. So yes, then we come over here to this lovely dresser. I found this in an antique shop and when I like rounded the corner and saw it in the distance, I was like, what are you doing here? You obviously belong in my room because I'd already found the bed frame at that point and how perfectly, how wonderfully do these two match? I just think it's so amazing. Like this was already painted. I did not have to paint it at all. When um, I was taking it out to the, to the car, the shop clerk was like, are you gonna paint it? And I was like, well, I could, but it's so, it seems so charming as it is. It's just got so much character. Look at these like keyholes and even the, the door handles, I really lucked out. And it was not as expensive as, um, you know, a brand new, brand new dresser would be. Here, I will show you my makeup drawer. Since I'm kind of proud of it, I think it looks very pretty. Yeah, see, it's not, it's not as convenient as a real dresser would be because the drawers do stick a bit. The shopkeeper suggested I use, like, soap or candle wax. I haven't actually done that because I can get them open, but <laughs> it can be a little bit of a struggle. Isn't this a cute little mini mouse mirror? Yes, got all of my lovely makeup supplies in here. My Animal Crossing eyeshadow palettes. I wonder if they have the, um, the Able Sisters one back in stock. I'm kind of super tempted to, um, to see and buy the Able Sisters palette because I love these two palettes so, so much. Anyway, so up on the up on the dresser we have this nice little mirror so I added these I actually had these um, from an old uh, dressing table but they came off so I just have them propped up here and I think they work kind of perfectly you can see my camera lens here I feel like I should give a disclaimer my room is fairly small. This camera lens is amazing. It is uh, an 8 to 18 millimeter. I've often marveled over it in my videos in the past. I got it like two years ago now. I still absolutely love, um, love using it so much, but it does definitely make this room appear bigger than it is. So yes, those are the mirrors. Have some beautiful lilacs. Um, in my vase at the moment, a little clock also got this when I lived in Dublin. This, surprisingly, I did not buy in London. I'm pretty sure this was an anthropology find, but it is just so, so cute. My two bedstand books at the moment are an Elizabeth Googe, A Book of Comfort. Look, it's got this really beautiful embossing on on the cover there. This is an anthology of all sorts of different poems and quotations. Socrates speaks after the storm and they're divided up on different um, topics. So it's a really lovely thing to just dip into and then of course I also have my Bible there. This is a card. You know, I think I also got this in Dublin. I think I got it. Is it Marks and Spencer? Oh, well, it doesn't say Marks and Spencer on the back, but I feel like I found it at a Marks and Spencer, and it's just kind of fun. I feel like it's very appropriate for um, for the dresser. There's my rosary in its case right there. This lamp, my brother Porthos got me uh, for Christmas. It was such an amazing present. I'd never thought to get like a kind of Tiffany style lamp, but it is just so, so pretty and so cozy and beautiful. I feel like it is the perfect addition to this room. So the curtains I already told you about just really love, love, love this pattern. I actually bought some more of the fabric in pink to use for some curtains in another room. That is how much I loved them. And you know what? After they have lived out a happy life as curtains, maybe I'll turn them into a dress or an outfit, just like Maria Von Trapp. I'm sure she'd be very proud. Just some pretty ribbons tying them back there. I was able to borrow my mom's um, sewing machine, so that made it a very quick and easy job. And you know, the seams aren't perfect, but 
you know, most of the time you're not looking at it up close, so it's not really a big deal. You guys saw me uh, make this wreath a couple years ago. It was from a kit. Uh, paper Source had these amazing uh, paper flower wreath kits. I actually have a pink flower wreath um, that I can't decide. I kind of like the simplicity of the blue and white one, but I could add the pink pink paper floral wreath there as well. We'll have to see. This rug is Rifle Paper Company. This is an old friend. I've had it for a couple years. See, I know it's a lot of different patterns, but I feel like they all tone. And one nice thing, um, and one nice thing about this uh, quilt is that it is reversible. So I actually did have it earlier with the, um, you know, just kind of striped side out. So that makes it like a little bit less of pattern overload, but I don't really care. I think it's beautiful. I have a little basket with some extra blankets. And now, shall we go into the closet? Step into the closet. See, I feel like this is when the camera lens is going to be at its most deceptive because this is a very small closet. But it is just packed full of charm and my charming spring dresses. It does have a little light up there. It has a little window. How fabulous is that? See, now I kind of regret that I used the extra fabric on the pillow. I feel like maybe I should have made a mini curtain for that closet. I don't know, maybe I'll use the pink fabric to do a mini curtain in there. This closet is now very happy though. Filled with all of my beautiful, beautiful uh, dresses. You guys will probably recognize these dresses. I think I've worn every single one of them in at least one video. <laughs> See, when a dress enters my closet, not literally this closet, but just figuratively my, my collection, it kind of never leaves. It's fun um, to watch my collection grow, but I have to be very careful about what I buy because storage is already... <laughs> I have one bin for each season, so I like rotate them out, and I'm getting to the point where I kind of need more than one bin for some seasons, so I feel like I should probably, you know, do a little cull. I wear dresses pretty much every day and love them so, so much. I'm always scoping out the sales. This was a Kate Spade sale. This was a Lily Pulitzer sale. This was Amazon, surprisingly. Um, just a random dress on Amazon. This was the dress shop at Disney Springs. This was a Nordstrom sale. This was a Brooks Brothers sale. <laughs> Story of my closet. I got it on sale. There are actually two um, rails here. Obviously, my dresses kind of get precedence here, but my skirts are nicely in the corner as well. And it's not too difficult. Um, to kind of kind of get at them. It's workable, you know. I already had that little um, shoe shelf, but it's very handy. Gives me some extra space down there, and I have lots of my bags um, just kind of piled in here. There's my Map of the Soul scarf. So, you thought the closet was over. Well, it's not. There's more if we sandwich ourselves in here. So there's another rail for more storage, which is pretty great, but... We'll turn on the light so you can see a little better. The best part. Look at that. It's like a secret display. I kind of love these shelves so, so much. I do have my shoes down here. These are some of my more aesthetic shoes. I love Rifle Paper Company um, Keds. They are some of my go-tos. Croc flats, um, which I wear all the time, so they're not here, but that's one of my go-to's, and Rifle Paper Company Keds are the other one. These are some BTS shoes that I uh, customized myself. They are destined to be worn at a BTS concert, but sadly have not made it there yet. Another BTS-inspired purchase. Some super cute Fila shoes, which I got inevitably with a coupon <laughs> during a, a sale on the website. I haven't worn them yet and they're so beautiful. Pretty fab. Another um, Rifle Paper Company uh, pair of shoes there. I think those two I got at Mod Cloth. Mod Cloth always has cute retro shoes and just some fun other wedges. And then you guys have seen my Dooney and Burke bag collection. So I just think it's really fun um, to have this space to kind of secretly display them here. A couple more bags up there. Kate Spade. Kate Spade hot air balloon. Danielle Nicole um, Coach. 
some Kath Kidstons. You guys have also seen those. Look at this. This song is even coming out for us a little bit. So that was my bedroom tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'd love to hear about your decorating adventures, some of the favorite treasures that you have in your space, in your room. Leave me a comment down below. Make sure you're subscribed because I am going to be um, posting um, some more farmhouse tour uh, videos when I get to them. I don't know when exactly that'll be. Give this video a thumbs up. If you're new around here, you can check out some of those other videos that I mentioned. I'll leave some links in the description down below and in the cards um, popping up. I hope you have a magical day and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye guys!